Hey everyone out there, it's uh, Darren here with Push Industries. We're at the 2018 Eurobike Show, having a blast. The weather is beautiful, uh, lots of people. Um, today we're uh, showing our newly released 11.6 uh, side stack model. Um, this is brand new for us. It's the same 11.6 technology, but in a different package for both the new Nomad 4 from Santa Cruz and the Trek Slash uh, 2017 and 2018 models. If you're not familiar with 11.6, uh, this kind of cutaway that we did shows our key technology. You're basically getting two shocks in one. So we've got a low speed and high speed compression, a low speed and a high speed compression, our rebound adjusters down here. Uh, with this uh, system up here, when you flip the paddle, it actually uh, selects a different inlet for the compression circuit. So they're completely decoupled. When you have a certain ride characteristic that can be fast, flowy, jump, pump line trail, this one can be for uh, Chundri DH, and so you can just toggle between them on the fly. So that's the uh, kind of key technology behind the 11.6. The other major product that we're showing here, our ACS3 coil conversion kit. This is for Fox 36, RockShock Pike, Lyric, Yari. Um, it's a coil system uh, that features what's called an air bump stop. So while coil forks are great for small bump sensitivity, they tend to lack the ramp up control. And air forks have the ramp up, which is great for bigger hits, but lack that sensitivity. This combines the best of both. So coil spring for bump sensitivity, air bump stop for your bottoming control. And again, available for a very wide range of products. So. Uh, Hope everybody, everybody likes it. Hey, I'm Alex Rafferty from SRAM, uh, PR coordinator in Europe. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about Super Deluxe coil shocks. Um, two years ago we launched metric sizing shocks with the Super Deluxe and the Deluxe, um, bringing a lot of benefits to shock performance and ultimately better shocks for bikes and better bikes because of that. Last year we actually introduced uh, RockShox Super Deluxe coil shocks. Uh, you've got a range of them sat in front of us right here. Um, some really cool user benefits. You know, one of, the, one of the key things we wanted to do here was not limit coil shocks just to downhill bikes, actually create a coil shock that's suitable for all mountain, enduro, and trail bikes as well. Um, so the range of shock sizing fits on way more bikes, uh, and the performance you're getting out of it as well is not limited to bikes that you, you know, you're just going to be heading downhill on, so you can get performance pedaling out of... Uh, out of our shocks as well. Um, some cool, neat features on the shocks. Uh, mounting options for all of them. So you can see on here we've got you know, bearing eyelets, we've got trunnion mounts. Um, the, we have sag indicators on the stroke length that makes it way easier for setting up and getting the right spring rate. Uh, and also the bottom out bumper is a, a cool thing, is actually proportional to the stroke length of the shock as well. So you're getting the same performance and characteristics out of all the different shocks that you'd be using. So one of the other cool things of our shocks is that our, our Super Lux coil shocks is that they're also remote actuated. So on here you can see the twist lock remote um, that allows us to get the performance of what would usually be limited to an air shock or at least a, a lever control on a shock uh, but as you're riding. So if you have a bike that has a Rock Shock Super Deluxe shocks or, or a Deluxe shock mounted in already, if you check out SRAM.com, you'll be able to find whether one of these RockShox Super Deluxe coil shocks will fit directly onto your bike. And there's a bunch of bikes out there that do fit directly on, for example, the Nomad, the Patrol, um, and quite a few others. So check out SRAM.com to, to find that list. All right, I'm Noah Sears. I'm the brand manager for MRP, and we're showing off our new Hazard coil shock today. Um, the Hazard carries over a lot of the DNA and architecture from our raised rear shock, but r the cool thing that it adds is the shred lever here, this orange switch. So this really firms up the shock for climbing or long transfer stages or climbing up a road to get to the top of your downhill trail. That's really handy to have. Of course, in the off position, you still have full access to your independent low speed and high speed compression adjustments and, of course, rebound down here. One of the really cool things about this shock, too, is that we've got lightweight steel spring options and we've also got progressive spring options. Um, we've just launched a new line of progressive um, steel springs that actually vary a little bit in the way that they're wound and the, um, the diameter of the steel. So that adds up, uh, ends up adding a little bit of progression to the ending stroke. So it makes a lot of coil shocks compatible with um, frames that were previously only compatible with air shocks. 
So pretty cool. Those obviously fit our shocks and other people's shocks as well. And we've got a full set of uh, spacers for that compatibility. So pretty sweet. Coil is the way. Hello, welcome Pinkbike. I'm Chris. I'm in charge for the marketing um, of Fox in Europe. And here in my hand I have um, our DHX2. Comes with a SLS spring. SLS means um, super light steel. So um, it's either on par with a titanium spring or even sometimes lighter depending on the length and um, the rate. And it's orange, of course. Um, and then the DHX2 as such has our EVS system, which is um, an oil system that is basically always pushing oil through valves the whole time. So um, it's very consistent, it's super sensitive, and it's also highly tunable. Highly tunable means this specific shock length here, we have a lever that is um, giving you basically a firm mode. You could call it lockout, we call it firm. You also have high and low speed compression as well high and low speed rebound that you can adjust. So um, the setup is actually quite sophisticated and complicated, but luckily we have a tuning guide that is really good to give you a baseline how to set up the shock on your specific bike. So um, you've got all the tunabilities right at your hands, but you also have a nice tuning guide that will help you to get your setup sorted out really quickly.